This is Sebastian Tomek with an ancient DNA paper review. Today we will talk about the peopling of Southeast Asia. Southeast Asia, and for that matter any region with warmer climate, is troublesome. From a perspective of retrieving ancient DNA from old bones, since in a warmer climate DNA degrades, see my video Ancient DNA, link in the description below. Anatomically, modern humans expanded into Southeast Asia at least 65,000 years ago, leading to the formation of the Huabin Hyang hunter-gatherer tradition, first recognized by about 44,000 years ago. These foragers are considered the ancestor of present-day hunter-gatherers from mainland Southeast Asia. However, the East Asian phenotypic affinities of the majority of present-day Southeast Asian populations suggest that the diversity was influenced by later migrations involving rice and millet farmers from the north. These observations has generated two competing hypotheses. One states that the Huabin Hian hunter-gatherers adopted agriculture without substantial external gene flow. And the other, the two-layer hypothesis, states that farmer from East days Asia replaced the indigenous Huabin Han inhabitants about 4,000 years ago. The paper, The Prehistoric Peopling of Southeast Asia in Science, studies this. In this study, they obtained 26 low-coverage ancient whole genomes as well as late Neolithic Bronze Age and Iron Age farmers from across Southeast Asia. They also sequenced mitochondrial DNA from 16 additional ancient individuals and obtained high-coverage whole genome from present-day Jahai people hunter-gatherers from Malaysia. The oldest sample in the study is an almost 8,000 years old individual from Laos. Let's review the figure. A shows age of the samples. B to D shows these statistics testings for differential affinity. B affinity to Papuans versus the Tian Yuan man. The Tian Yuan man is the oldest ancient DNA individual sequenced of about 40,000 years ago, belonging to the ancestral population of East Asians. The Hua Bin Hian hunter gatherers are more closely related to the East Asian source population than present day Papua New Guineans. Second, C in the figure, we have Unge versus Tian Yuan. Unge is present-day hunter-gatherers Negrit population from the Andaman island. As we see, the older the sample is, or if it is a modern hunter-gatherer Negrit population, we are closer related to the Unge than to the Tian Yuan man. The PCA plot they made is really nice, as they start off by scaling to the current world population sample. Note on the right the African string from East Asians to Europeans, and African on the other hand, down in the corner. Then they zoom in on the sample at hand. Ancient DNA samples are black dots. There are six distinct groups. You can see how they relate to modern groups. Group 1 is outside the plot. They find a distinctive relationship between the, the group 1 samples and the Ikawatsu Yomon man of Japan. Present day Southeast Asian populations derive ancestry from at least four ancient populations. The oldest layer consists of mainland Huambin Hians, who share ancestry with present day Andamese, Unge, Malaysian Yehai, and ancient Japanese Ikawatsu Yomon man. Consistent with the two-layer hypothesis, there is a change in ancestry about 4,000 years ago, supporting a demographic expansion from East Asia into Southeast Asia during the Neolithic transition to farming. However, despite changes in the genetic structure coinciding with this transition, 
evidence of admixture indicates that migration from East Asia did not simply replace the previous occupants. Additionally, late Neolithic farmers share ancestry with present-day Austroasiatic-speaking hill tribes, in agreement with the hypothesis of an early Austroasiatic farmer expansion. By 2000 years ago, Southeast Asian individuals carry additional East Asian ancestry components, absent in the late Neolithic samples, much like present-day populations. One component likely represents the introduction of ancestral Kredai languages, like Thai, in mainland Southeast Asia, and another the Austronesian expansion into island Southeast Asia, reaching Indonesia by 2.1 thousand years ago and the Philippines by 1.8 thousand years ago. The evidence described here favors a complex model involving a demographic transition in which the original Huanbin Hians admixed with multiple incoming waves of East Asian migration associated with the Austroasiatic, Kredai and Austronesian language speakers. That my friends is all for today. Till next time, I wish you all the best.